Don Immel here. I'm here today with Steve Steffel. Steve has recently uh, received the mantle of leadership. He's our district commander in Royal Rangers. Hey, Steve. Hey, um, uh, so let's, let's do a little imagination thing here. Uh, let's say you and I met on the first floor of the Empire State Building, and in tow you have a couple of two or three or four Royal Rangers and uh, uh, I say to you, so what do you do, or what, do you, what are you guys all about? Uh, how would you describe Royal Rangers to me? And we have from floor one to 102, so we have a couple of moments. Okay, well, I would start by saying that Royal Rangers is an engaging boys' ministry that uh, is fun, and it helps them develop. It goes from young all the way up to age 18. Okay, and uh, uh, so tell me a little bit about the... Uh, the major pieces of Royal Rangers. What does that look like? Well, it's gender specific, and uh, it it's helps a boy develop a variety of skills. But the main goal is to develop a godly man. And so, there's three major goals for Royal Rangers. Mm -hmm. One is to evangelize, to equip, and to empower a boy to become a godly servant leader. And so, really, it's it's a ministry to help our churches develop boys into young men that we want them to be. So developing boys into godly men, and uh, that happens through a lot of influence of other godly men. Uh, tell us how Royal Rangers works. Well, at the same time we're working with the boys, men have the opportunity to grow, grow in leadership too. And so okay. there's a lot of great training materials. There's a lot of activities and things that men get involved with, and usually it really helps up their leadership skills also. Oh, so you're, you're, you're killing two birds with one stone, stone as they say, you know, ministering to boys, but at the same time you're growing men into, into better leaders. Absolutely. So tell us what does Royal Rangers, the Pendel Ministry Network, look like these days? Well, we, we have a number of uh, outposts. That's what we call our local uh, assemblies, and most of them meet once a week and have a number of different activities for boys, recreation, skill development, there's all types of skills, and always we have a good Bible study for them, uh, helping them to mature and mentor and learn. And, and then there's also activities throughout the year. We actually have a campground that's got some really neat uh, things. It's got a zip line. It's going to have a uh, climbing wall. We're building a shower house right now. Need showers. But, 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 a, but it's got a big water slide. A lot of great activities for the boys. And how often does that get used? It gets used a number of times a year. There's several camps that meet in the uh, spring and the fall. There's several that meet in the uh, summer. One of the ones that meets in the summer is the junior leadership uh, training camp. And there's a number of different uh, groups, different age-specific things that really uh, help a boy develop his leadership skills. Okay, so if I'm a pastor in a smaller church and uh, maybe I don't have a lot of boys to minister to or I don't have a lot of men to lead them, what, what, what kind of direction do I, do, do I go? Well, there, there is uh, programs for churches that have very few boys to very, a lot of boys. But one of the things that we would make available, and I just mentioned, for churches that can't even have their own outpost, they can send boys to the camps that we have, the activities that we have throughout the year. And uh, so they can avail themselves of that, possibly uh, get one of their men's ministry uh, men to bring the boys, and they'll have a great time. They'll have, we have wonderful uh, Bible teachers, music ministry, different things for the boys to, and, and we have a lot of boys that come forward for salvation, for the baptism of the Holy Spirit at our camp meetings. Okay, so it's evangelistic and discipleship oriented, and what I'm hearing you say is that it can be a weekly rhythm, or it can be sort of event-driven based upon what uh, the Royal Ranger calendar is offering through the year. That, that's correct, and really it, it's what, the, what ministry the church needs and how we can service the church. We want to be a blessing to the church and help their boys grow into godly men, no matter whether they have an outpost there or want to send boys to our ministry or want to have a weekly meeting. And we have a great uh, startup package. We have actually have scholarship help right now okay. that can help them financially. And we have leaders that would come in and actually help facilitate starting an outpost.
So tell me a story about a boy whose life has been changed or impacted by Royal Rangers. Well, one of the boys that uh, what came to uh, the Adventure Ranger group that I uh, teach uh, in Delaware uh, came as a result of being invited by a friend. And after he turned his life over to the Lord, his dad started coming to church. He got saved. He became a Royal Ranger leader. No kidding. And so it's kind of a neat story to show how, uh, you know, just a boy coming to the Lord can really impact their family. And uh, one of the things that I'd mentioned too is when we moved to Delaware, we were looking for a church that would minister to our kids. And we had a, had a girl and a boy. And because they had Royal Rangers, they had the impact girls, that was one of the criteria we used to select the church we went to. Okay, uh, so um, I've, it's my impression that uh, the Royal Rangers has a pretty uh, robust leadership development pathway. Tell us a little bit about how you develop leaders. Well, when, the, when a new leader comes in, there's uh, a national uh, NRMC, National Ranger Ministry Camp they can go to. It helps them learn the whole idea of the patrol system and how boys can interact and develop their leadership skills. They, they also have uh, different um, skills that they will go through, trainings, uh, and then uh, even beyond all of those things, if they all the, get all the way done with that, there's the whole Bible school training that they can go through and earn uh, merits on another level of uh, Ranger leadership. So it, it's uh, almost, uh, you know, an unending thing, but, mm -hmm. but uh, it really develops them into godly leaders from where they're at. And uh, so we, we've seen tremendous growth in leaders that way. In fact, you know, I, I feel like it's impacted my life that way too. How so? Well, not only uh, learning godly leadership qualities, but also leading other leaders and boys. And I, I believe it's helped me both at work mm -hmm. and in the ministry to the district too. Mm -hmm. And now being district uh, director for our ranger ministry here. Absolutely. So there's, there's many benefits. The benefits are multifaceted. Uh, you're absolutely uh, impacting the lives of individual young men, boys, turning them into godly men. But the leader himself uh, is growing in leadership, which helps the local church and, and uh, could potentially help him in his own vocational uh, growth. Absolutely. So uh, there are resources available through our district or our network or Royal Ranger program, and uh, we have Steve's contact information on the bottom of the screen there. Or you can contact us here at the network office, and Steve will be happy to uh, guide you in developing, perhaps redeveloping, a Royal Ranger ministry in your local church. Until we see each other again, hey, God bless you. Have a great day. <laughs>